Making money like I'm in Laying in my eyes like shrimp Making condition that I'm in Coming with the freshness Today we'll be working on building a rack for my solar panels. I actually have two Renogy 160 watt panels that I'll be putting on the roof of my van. Remember that video that was floating around in Malibu from American Gladiators where he woke up on the beach and he's like, I'm just getting healed by cosmic rays. I got a brewski in one hand and a beautiful babe in the other. That's basically gonna be my van. Anyways, now most people use the Z mounts that Renogy sells and they just screw their panels to the mounts and then the panels to the van. I'm going to be, again, trying to avoid putting more holes in my roof, so I'm going to be attempting to build my own DIY roof rack. And I wanted to do this because I'm on the fence about getting like a legit rack from Illuminous or something like that, so I feel like this is sort of a middle ground. It'll let me upgrade later if I want to, but for now it would still solve the issue of not putting a bunch of holes in my roof. I purchased roof rails directly from WeatherGuard and they're made specifically for the ProMaster. They basically just sit on the roof and attach to those tabs that spin. So after a few FaceTime sessions with my father-in-law just to make sure I wasn't completely nuts, my plan is to take some aluminum angle, attach that to my solar panels, and then attach the whole thing to the roof rails. Um, so that's my plan. Um, hopefully it works out, but let's get to it. Pew. This is all the hardware that comes with the WeatherGuard roof mounts. And there's six plates that come with the roof rails. And I ended up fabricating four more myself. This is just eighth inch aluminum. And what I'm gonna do is basically slide this into the track with a carriage bolt and then attach my panels that way. Both roof rails are in, and I am feeling a little better about how sturdy this rack's going to be. So we're just gonna move forward and I'm gonna get the aluminum angle up here and see where I need to make my cuts. So the crossbars will be exactly five feet, nice and even. I already cut the first one, looks good, so I'm just going to trace, I'm just going to put a mark for the second one, so it matches the first cut. We're going to cut this, and then start drilling our holes in the angle, so that we can attach this to the roof rack. forget I cut this aluminum with a carbide blade so if you're gonna cut aluminum or any type of metal don't use the blade that comes with your miter saw make sure you get something like this that's specifically made for aluminum or metal or you might have a bad time this is what the panels will look like on the roof so they'll be running the long way front to back and I already have my pieces of aluminum angle cut out and so this is how it will look then on the roof, given this is upside down, but a piece is going to be sitting on the front of the panels, holding it from the front and then from the bottom, and then the same thing on the back. So we'll have a piece on the back that supports it from the bottom and then from the back. And so what we need to do now is figure out 
where to put holes in this aluminum angle so that we can put some bolts and washers and, and nuts in here and secure the aluminum angle to the solar panel. So what I think I'm going to do is take some brown paper and just kind of lay it out to match these together and then trace where the holes are. Transfer that to the aluminum angle and then drill my holes. But <laughs> we'll see how that works out. So I have all the holes traced out. What I'm going to do is put the aluminum angle where it needs to go and then find the center. Make sure it's in the right spot and then I'm going to actually tape my piece of paper to my aluminum and then it should be in the exact spot that I need it and then I'm going to put the holes into the aluminum on this piece and then transfer it exactly the same to the other piece. <laughs> pretty good. So I took a one by two and I drilled holes and where I think the aluminum angle should be and just doing a test fit right now. So I took the holes that are on this one by two and I transferred them to my piece of angle. So I'm going to drill these out and then see if this fits on our referrals. So we're back on the roof. I've got one side in, all the way down there, as you can see. And I'm just gonna check to make sure that this one fits. And it does. So I think we're set to attach these back to the solar panel and then get these babies up here. All right, I'm about to finish bolting the angle to the solar panels and this is what I'm gonna do, hex bolt, flat washer, through the aluminum, and then there'll be another flat washer, locking washer, stainless steel nut, and I'm going to be putting um, Loctite on it as well. in this between these two ribs so we can drop through our cables from the solar panel since my battery box will be down here this will be my solar charger so this will be the closest spot um, so we're going to go up under the roof mark a hole and then drill up the pilot hole so i've measured and measured and measured and i'm putting it on this higher rib rather than the lower one so that it's closer to the wall um, so this is where it's gonna be. And my solar panels will end probably about here, so it'll cover it. So we're gonna start with a small drill bit and then work our way up to the biggest one I have. The wires through the van, I put electrical tape around the holes just to make sure I wasn't slicing my wires when I was feeding it. And then you have basically this black rubber washer the plastic trim piece, the next rubber stopper thing, I don't know what to call it, plastic piece, and then the decorative top. So I'm gonna drill these into the van and then put this on. Uh, 
I just spray tested it and we're good to go. So I am running out of light. So tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and get the solar panels mounted on my hardware and then get these connected. And then we'll seal this up once we know that everything is set. The panels are all mounted. I didn't record putting the panels up here because I didn't have enough people <laughs> helping. So um, it took three of us to get the panels up here. But for now, I just have the wires tucked under here and then I put electrical tape on the ends. Water wasn't getting into the connections, but this feels super solid and it fit up here first time. So really stoked about that. All my measuring paid off. I'm absolutely stoked with how this rack turned out. I was actually like 50-50 that this would even work. So yeah, what a good day. And like I said, this is just a middle ground for now. This will leave me the ability to upgrade later on if I want to, to a more sophisticated rack. But if you have any questions about this video or this rack in particular, just leave me a comment below. I will be posting videos throughout my van build. So if you are interested, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. Phew.